Hi everyone. Well, I just watched the end of the last episode, and uh, I think I'm vindicated on this. Definitely a bug. Um, you, you see my mouse cursor clearly in the middle of the square of my oxygen tank. So uh, let, let's put this. It was clearly on this middle of the square. Now what's happened is I've clicked and dragged like I always do, but there's like a like a latency, like a delay between when I click and when the actual click took effect in the game. So I went click and drag, but the click didn't register, so it actually tried to drag the next box over. So it was it was only when my mouse actually past the waste tank that the click took effect and so the waste tank got picked up instead of the oxygen tank it's a bug it's a latency bug it's like a little bit of like lag it's kind of like the the terrain updating lag in a way so no i i did not stuff that up that was almost killed by a bug that was not my incompetence um yes i mean it, thinking about it now is actually was hilarious um and I like the excitement of having to rush down the end and get the waste tank into here and uh, doing it just in the nick of time. I'm not happy that one of my tanks is now effectively useless. Um, I don't want to use this tank in case I accidentally overfill it. I might recycle it. Uh, I wonder if I can sell it. Um, I might buy a canister from a trader or something just to uh, make up for that bug. Um, you know, I, I consider it exploiting buying stuff from traders, but um, if I'm replacing a tank that got damaged due to a bug, I, it kind of makes up for the bug in a way. I don't know what I'll do there. It's just one canister. It's five iron. It's not a big deal. Um, so anyway, Vindicated. It uh, wasn't my fault. It was the game's fault. I'm so happy about that. I was like thinking, oh God, did I stuff up? You start to you start to second guess yourself. At the time, I was 100% certain, not my fault. I did everything right. Um, but then, yeah, when you start thinking about it a little bit more, you uh, you start to doubt yourself. Um, temperature in the room is great. Uh, it's going up. Oh, because the the black holes in the sky. I left the um. I left the carbon dioxide on. I'm just going to go in there quickly and turn that off. I'm going to leave the cooler on though. Um, yes, okay, so really happy that it wasn't my fault. It basically means that if I had have blown up, I would have re I would have loaded the autosave and just played from there and uh, and just said that never happened. You know, that that's basically what I would have done. Um, once I'd established it was, in fact, a bug. <laughs> um, if it hadn't have been a bug and it was, in fact, my incompetence, um, I wouldn't have reloaded. I would have just said, end of game, I lose. Um, so anyway, um, almost a hundred pascals, kilopascals of pressure in here. That, that's fine by me. Um, might, I might just stick a little bit more CO2 in here just for a little bit longer. Uh, I can harvest these crops if I want to. I don't want to. <laughs> I, can't, I don't want to carry them. I don't want the space. Wait, why are you damaged? And you. Two, three things damaged all next to each other. I'm wondering what caused that damage. I'm guessing it wasn't water. I'm guessing it was temperature. Maybe the temperature right down this end got dropped below 15 for a short period of time. Uh, more than likely, it was when I planted them. It, I think it's the exact same bug, a latency, like a delay. Because when you plant them, there's that little delay before they actually are planted. And in that tiny little delay time, they have unfavorable lighting, not enough water, um, no, you know, not enough, the wrong atmosphere. They've got everything wrong with them at the moment you plant. I mean, I, I can demonstrate really quickly. Um, let's, well, let's rip these up, actually. Uh, one, two, three. Let's just rip up all these. Um, if I get 15 of them, I'll have exactly 10, which is one can of tomato soup. So are there any other damaged ones? Looking for damaged tomatoes. I'll, I'll look around the room a bit. So watch when I, when I plant this, right? For that split second, it needs, you know, it doesn't have enough of everything. See, um, you see that big list on the right there? 
that you know that plant is basically complaining everything's wrong now if that if when i plant it there's a little tiny delay between it actually registering as oh i am planted and i have all the things i need then it'll take damage it was a bit of a delay there it wasn't it wasn't a huge delay but there was a tiny delay there you can kind of see what i mean uh i want to rip up two more of these i'm just looking for damaged ones um and so it's the same issue as what just happened with the uh, the giant almost blew myself up situation. Um, that slight delay happened after I clicked on my oxygen tank. Oh, there's one. It's almost damaged. So I'm going to do this again. And yeah, that, see, there, there was virtually no delay. You only, the writing popped up for a split second. Sometimes the writing lingers there for a while. Okay, there's another one that's damaged. Okay, so so the delay there was a bit longer. Now, sometimes the delay is very long. And when the delay is very long, um, that's when the plants take damage when planted them. Now, the, the same issue happens when I'm clicking my mouse on something. Sometimes I click, but there's a, like a brief couple of ticks delay before the click actually takes effect. And if I'm dragging my mouse across the screen, if I'm clicking on something and dragging my mouse like this over top of the tracker the um you know I might, I might be able to reproduce this bug if i if i do it enough times whoops <laughs> um oh i just tried to pick that up with tomatoes i, I i'm not gonna sit there dragging stuff across over and over again i don't want to waste time on it i just know that that delay exists it means I can't act super fast, particularly in situations like that where it's very dangerous. I have to just like take my time and be careful. Like um, if I'm dragging this into here, um, see, see how I just I like click and grab straight away. It's kind of like I have to click, hold for a second, and then and then drag or or click but um, move the mouse around on the square that it's on. If I just click, nothing happens. But the moment I, I jerk my mouse a little bit, it highlights big. So, um, yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Um, okay, all, all is well now. Everything's fixed. I just spent five minutes ranting on about this. I'm going to move on. Um, black hole, Unilever Horizon. I got a lot, of, a lot of stuff to do out there. Um, where's my steel sheets? Um, I'm not going to be using these walls oh that's one thing i wanted to do i wanted to rip up the side walls in the greenhouse and replace them with new side walls i'll do that later um let's just take these sheets outside and fill in all these frames um one thing i can do right now is look up advanced furnace where would i find that is that in electronics or is it in uh, auto lathe so if i if i put advanced in nothing happens Okay, um, so it's obviously an electro print item. Oh wait, it is a furnace though, so maybe it's in. No, it is here. Kit advanced furnace. What do I need? I'm just missing the steel and the silicon. I, I can I can grab that right now. They're both in here, right? Yeah. Okay, come on out, my friends. No, don't sit on top of. Is there any more in there? Uh, I just want this one and this one which won't pick up there we go and let's start the advanced furnace well we'll pick it up anyway uh, i'm not going to put it down yet i i have a bit of prep work to do out there uh, i'm not going to go crazy with this advanced furnace and set up yeah i, I don't want to do ic I, I don't even think it should be part of the game honestly i, I mean I see is okay, integrated circuits, but um, they've also got the logic, you know, chips as well, the IOs, the input outputs and everything. Um, don't have both in the game, I don't think. I, I mean, I don't, I don't think they should have both. Don't have like these logic like circuits you chuck on the floor and also have integrated circuits where you can just code stuff. Like choose one or the other, but don't give us both. I mean, IC is obviously um, a lot more efficient you know, in terms of space and everything. Um, you can do something with a few lines of code with IC that would, would take a, you know, would take a huge giant mess of uh, 
logic devices to, to reproduce. Um, if they want to just have, if they want to have IC in the game, just remove all the logic circuits. I would say, um, I actually prefer it the other way. I actually prefer, I like the logic, the the logic chips. I actually like that aspect. I like how you think through every single step to figure it out. Um, it means that it requires a giant mess to to get simple things done, kind of like a redstone in Minecraft. Um, but I, I kind of like that about Minecraft. Um, if they just put, you know, simple programming into Minecraft, it, it would not, I don't know, I, I wouldn't be interested in doing it. Uh, it just wouldn't, wouldn't interest me to, to make, like, spectacular, like, logic, you know, like, automated systems in Minecraft if it was all just me programming stuff with code. But doing it with Redstone makes it interesting. It makes it like different and interesting, and, and and working out how to run the lines of redstone around the blocks and everything. I, I actually enjoy it. I don't enjoy coding. So uh, you know, the IC in the game it it kind of bugs me in the way. Um, the fact that it exists uh, annoys me. I'd rather try and figure out how to do it with with all the logic chips instead. So I, I kind of just stay away from IC altogether. I just don't find it fun. I don't want to sit there learning a new code, even though it's an incredibly simple code. I don't want to learn how to how to write in that in that language. I guess it wouldn't take long. I, just, I don't want to invest. It's going to take many hours though for me to sit down and learn all the commands and learn how to make some some programs. I don't, I don't want to do it. So uh, like for that for that to me is work. Whereas the the actual logic chips. Like, like what I've done with the the solar panels that that's actually play it, it, I know I know it's it's weird but doing stuff like this to me is is fun I consider this play but if I were to just set up a computer an integrated circuit and I would just program it in I wouldn't consider that playing I'd consider that working I, I, I don't know I don't know if people I don't yeah I, I hope everyone can sort of follow me and some people kind of agree with that in a way um, uh, I guess if you're already a programmer, um, IC is just much better. You much prefer it. Like, if, if you're a programmer already, it's just easy. I'm not a programmer. I, I, I know I know a bit of programming. I know enough to get by, and, and, and I can follow code and, and understand what does what, and I can make small, tiny changes to stuff. And tiny, you know, I can write little bits of code here and there, but um, I, I, I don't enjoy it particularly. Um, but yeah, this, this I enjoy. It's like, it goes into this device, uh, I'm changing this variable, it goes into the out device, I need a, a value that doesn't change, so I chuck down a memory, and it, and it kind of, I don't know, for me it's play. It probably sounds weird to some people. Um, okay, anyway, uh, the advanced furnace, I probably, you know, originally I was thinking I'm just going to chuck it on this square right here. Um, this is not how I'd want it. Um, uh, yeah, originally I was thinking I'd just chuck it like here in the middle of the square, but, but, plot twist, I can't put a door here if I'm putting a door there. So I've got to decide what I'm going to do here. Should I move this door here, and have like a little entryway into there, and then a door here? In which case, if I do that, then right here is where I want my advanced furnace. Um, or should I keep my door here and do something different with this door? Um, maybe I can stick a door here, so I have two decisions. I can go that way or I can go this way. Um, but then I need to extend this. And this is kind of already eating into um, my solar panel territory. Um, I was thinking that I was going to extend this line. Out, out here. Ugh, of course, my hydration is critical. I want to kind of extend this line and whoa, and the windmill line as well, and just keep that pattern and just keep it going, like and have uh, like double my array sort of thing. I, I planned to double my power ages ago, but I haven't needed to, so I didn't bother. Um, I think I prefer to just have an air, a door to the an exit door right here. I might even set up a second beacon. So depending on which one I exit, that's the beacon I, I activate. So I've got two beacons ready to go. 
And I'll just move this door here, here. That'll give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces worth of vacuum room to uh, to run pipes in. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Um, I'll probably run these red pipes up high and then down and then run them along this back wall here. And I'll keep this the this wall here next to the tanks as a, a cooling wall. Because I, I think I'm going to want to stick some carbon dioxide out here just to cool it. Stick some oxygen out there just to cool it. And so on and so on. Um, I definitely want to keep my hydrogen cool. So I'm going to want to have hydrogen in this, uh, in this vacuum corridor as well. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure how to do it. I'm going to fit it all in. Um, but yeah, so I think I'll do that. I'm just going to move these doors. This this airlock is actually going to be here, and this is going to be my airlock. Uh, so in which case, I actually do want my furnace where I said. Um, maybe, maybe here. Give myself a bit of space. It's going to be like locker, locker. Um, uh, this This is okay, right here. I can always rip this up. Once you use electronic parts to upgrade, what? Oh, I need electronic parts. I forgot about that. Uh, locker, locker, things like that. Um, I'm gonna have to find a way to get pipes to go from here also into this system here. And I'm probably just gonna set up a, a similar input pipe system is what I've got down here with the tank filler and stuff. I'm not going to go crazy with the advanced furnace. I, I'm just building one purely for, um, I'm building one purely so, oh, don't click on that, um, purely so I can get the advanced alloys. I can do it manually. I don't actually need to uh, set up all the crazy features that, that are possible. Uh, particularly since uh, integrated circuits uh, is the best way to to set up and manage it. I don't want to use integrated circuits. Um, electronic parts. Uh, so um, electronic parts. Okay. I need iron. Where's my iron? Where are you, iron? We used for duct tape, maybe? No. You were put in here for some reason. Probably for filter, medium filter, yeah. Anyway, get out of there. Whoa, I don't want constant turn. This is what I want, iron. Get your backside in here, my friend. Build some electronic parts. These should be really quick. It's the trio, iron, gold, copper, the usual three. Usual suspects, silver. Um, silver's only ever going to be used for filters, right? Um, I, yeah. Now, uh, what else do I want to do out there? Uh, I want to get this, this door in place. I want to get these doors moved around. So I'm going to just put this on hold for a sec. Uh, no, actually, it's data. It's night time. And the sun is just about to rise. So I'll, I'll quickly do this now. Get over there, get over there, get over there, get over there. Construct what I need now. Five steel sheets. That's right. Oh. Five steel sheets. How quickly can I bang off five steel sheets? They're actually very quick to make. Man, I gotta set up that uh, console gas sensor thing. Five steel sheets. I got 500 steel in here. Um, you, why are you still on? That's kit door. Sheets, sheet, sheet, steel sheets. Thank you. Give me five. One, two, three, four, five. Off you go. Let's get out there. Close. Get out. Fly over. Go, 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 my friend, go. Um, Jetpack, 
Welding torch. Arc welder. Screwdriver. And there we go, there's the advanced furnace. It's a complicated looking thing. Input, output, you um yeah. Open the mold, turn it on, activate. It's got many of the features a normal furnace has, but more things. It's only in built um, volume pumps, basically. Uh, there's the chutes are on the side. There's the input, there's the output. Uh, this is output two, I assume that's for water, because um, it's got a water attachment. And this is the gas output. So this is going to connect to my main atmospherics line. This is going to have a similar setup to my more primitive furnace. And yeah, should, should be good. I'm not going to use the water outputs at all because there's no ice on this planet. Uh, well, I mean, if I if I may ever decide to make the automated rocket thingy and I can send a miner up into space to mine ice for me, then um, yeah, I could use it actually. Man, I really got to set up this. I should just do it. I should just stop talking about it and just do it. Um, first things first, let's get some water going. Uh, it's just, I have this ongoing project right now, vacuum room. Um, yeah, I want to start running these things in there. I want to get the doors in place first. Um, I know where that's going to sit now, so it's okay. I want to deconstruct these things and move them to, well, a more desirable location. Well, not desirable, but a more, a location where I'm actually allowed to put them. So if I put them there and there, it means I can put the kit doors here and here. I need plastic and glass. I should have just made compound doors so I could save materials. Um, all good. Get out of there. Welding torch, plastic. Crowbar and glass. Okay, I should also connect these doors to power so I'm not constantly crowbarring them as I go through. I'm going to put a door here right now. There's my door. It's also going to require plastic and glass. Because they're just glass doors. I'm basically making everything out of glass. Um, that's going to go there. There's also going to be a door here, but I've got to complete this door first. Um, where's the black hole? Okay, uh, I'll do this. Well, I'll do this side of the door anyway. i got to make sure that if I decide to crowbar out this window from this side that that door over there is closed so I can get back in. Crowbar, crowbar. Alright, looking good. So yeah, like if I, if I want to go here and then close this door and then crowbar this to put a new door on, how do I get back in my base? See, um, I can't open the other door up I can't open this door here up because this door here is open. So if I if I close this door here, then it's fine. There's no problem. I can crowbar my way out of the base there and work from out there um, immediately, which is probably what's going to happen. Um, I need glass. I've got no more glass unless I make a composite door. Uh, let's get some glass. Where's my silicon? Of course, it's in this machine with all the craziness in it. Um, I really should look up what else I can build. Um, no, no, stop, stop. Uh, 
Um, if I get this advanced furnace set up properly, I won't need that furnace out there anymore, which means I won't need any of these pipes anymore. This pipe that runs all the way across the roof, uh, this, this is going to be needed though, still. Okay, so it's just the pipes out there that aren't going to be needed. Um, I'm still going to need a main line, which is currently running all the way over here. Oh, okay, that's why I didn't um, hook this the right way up, just pointing out. It's not just a loop around. This is my main, my main atmospherics line. That's why. Okay, I'm not an idiot. I thought I was an idiot for doing this. I completely forgot there's a main line running directly above it. Oh, okay. It's good to know I'm not as stupid as I thought I was. Uh, let's continue. Why is there half a thing of steel here? Oh, because I made an odd number of steel sheets. Five is an odd number. Okay, let's just make one more then. Um, all good. Now I'm going to have to make a steel frame to go with it. Okay. So now I don't have that horrible 0.5 to deal with. Uh, what I really want came here for, though, is some glass. And I should make quite a lot of glass, to be honest. I'm going to do that right now. I should make a lot more plastic as well. Just stop there. 14 will do. Um, no, no, we'll go 15. Because making 12 plastic is an even number. Plastic. Plastic. Let's go. Oh, wait, why am I making one? <laughs> um, I want to have 15 in total. Stop. 15. No point fives. Good. Turn that off. Plastic and glass. Good. One plastic, one glass will be spent on the door out there. Um, so, connecting it up. I, I don't want to have a cable running all the way here. Although I might end up with a cable way here if I actually start putting pressure and temperature um, monitors for each of these things. But the question is, where do I hang the, the temperature and pressure monitors from? Like I already said, I do not want to have them floating in air. I, I cannot stand the look of it. I know lots of people do it, but to me it's it's just no, just no. Um, I, I want them actually attached to a wall. Um, I could... The problem is, I don't, there's no good place to stick walls. Uh, I mean, can I stick it in the middle here? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I can stick them, maybe, stick monitors there, but then I can't quite fit it all in. Um, where else can I stick monitors? I mean, I can stick them on the floor. That's one thing I can do, either side of the tank, one temperature, one pressure. Um, it's annoying because I want to be able to see them from a distance. It'd be nice if I can stand back here somewhere and just kind of see a bunch of monitors and I'll know which monitors for which. So uh, in order to display the temperature and, and pressure of my tanks, I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it exactly. Um, I could put walls up out of the roof, sticking out of the roof, and actually stick them on those walls so they're actually outside. Um, because they're windows, I, I'll still be able to see them. I, I don't know. I'm actually not sure how I'm going to do it. Um, but temperature pressure monitors for these tanks would be great because I am tired of running over to my tanks and going, ah, oh, 31.4 degrees, fantastic. Um, and so on and so on. This is great because I got 3,500 moles there, another 882 there. So 3.5 plus a whole thousand, 4.5 plus another, yeah, so it's 5.2 or 5.3. Uh, 
5.2. Yeah, 5.7 plus whatever's in my oxygen tank. Okay, let's try this again. Click, drag. Now, see, I'm circling the square. So I know it's dragging this. Now I'm going to put it in here. Quickly check. It's got uh, 483 moles in it. Okay, so this is like less than 500 moles. I should know that off by heart by now. If it's 20,000, is 500 moles. I should know that. Um, yeah, so four... Well, that's more than that. But anyway, 483 moles. So what was I, like 5.7? Like, it's like 6.2 K moles. I think I've got over 6,200 moles of oxygen now, plus whatever's currently in my greenhouse, which is great. Anyway, the sun has set. I'm going to make sure that this door here is closed. I'm going to change out my battery because it's at 55%. And I'm going to go out this door here and, oh, then I have to evacuate this. That's a problem. I, I really should set up the active vent first. So I've got an active vent. Um, the thing I was doing before, I ripped up that cable because I want to grab cable from somewhere else. Uh, down one of these lines here, perhaps. Um... How am I supposed to get it into the room, though? Through the side, but I can't get it through the side. Because the door's located at the side. Um, I can't curl that around, because the tank is in the way. I can't put it through the door. Um, and I even if I put it through here, for instance, in order to curl it back in there, I can't get through this door with it. So uh, the roof is like the only way I can do this. Um, so if I take that cable, for instance, and run it up along this edge here, I, I can't, I can't run it up this line here, because this is a door line. This is, um, actually a problem. You know what, my initial cable, which I just tore up, might be the solution. I might have to just run a cable down this line here, get out of my way, oh, doesn't matter, uh, down this line here in order to get into the doors and stuff. But yeah, the big thing is I also need to power this furnace. So I'm going to have to go through one of these things at some point anyway. Um, so let's say I connect to that power over there. I know I'm wasting the the night time, but I want to get the active vent in this door here set up first before I rip that up. Um, so if I go straight through here, I can get out there to the to the furnace, and I can power the furnace of a line, and then maybe circle around. So I'll take a left turn just after I pass through this window, and run it along there, and bring it in through the side here. I think, I think that's it. I think that's how I do it. it. takes a while to work this stuff out sometimes. So there's going to be a, a cable going through here. Is this going to be a problem for my gas? No, my gas is going to go through the roof. Um, so it's, it's going to go like this and then circle around. Um, I'm going to be putting this active vent inside there. I can actually open that up because it's not... There's no gas in here. This is all vacuum. I don't, I don't need to mess around. Um, I'm going to have a cable come through here and into the door like this. And probably head over to there as well. Um, does it matter how I do it? It probably doesn't. Let me through. Oh, it's always the last one you try. Um, yeah, so cables and pipes not being able to go through doorways is uh, always a little bit of a problem. Well, how is... It's just power tools, get down there. There we go. Um, something like this. It kind of looks a bit weird, but... Um, yeah, the, the power to the doors are going to go this way, and the power to this door, 
and that one there is going to come along this line here and like this and there's also going to be one on the other side which is going to go like this it's going to be something like this eventually these doors will be automated I'm, I'm guessing so uh, something like that there's going to be a door there and the power is going to connect straight into there it's going to it's going to work it'll work um okay which means i need to get back in here to connect it up to main line i mean i can honestly do this i, I can do this when it's not night time I can do that during the day hunger caution of course okay yeah so i want to get the active vent in there first the ability to suck air out and, and use it as a proper airlock so when I put the door in place, it's all powered up and I have the airlock capacity straight away. And then I can just come out here anytime and work on this on this furnace as much as I want. Um, so one of the things is I had this set up like this so I could connect this up here. And there's going to be an offshoot leading to this. Oh, okay, there we go. And this is just going to keep going. I'm out of cables, who would have thought? No one could have predicted that. I'm going to need more cables if I want to hook it all up inside. Uh, but you can sort of see where I'm where I'm going with this. Um, so that's going to power the furnace. I can keep going and go for the data and then set up some proper pressure temperature readers rather than trying to use this or my tablet. I might do that for this one. I could have done it for the other one as well, but I, I, I didn't. I didn't bother. Um, I, I, it would have made it far less stressful getting that last load of furnace and stuff. Um, once the automated furnace is set up, I'm not going to need any of this anymore. So I'm actually going to end up grabbing a lot of pipe. I'm probably, my next big furnace job is probably going to be in the automated furnace. I'm probably not going to use this ever again. Uh, I, no, I shouldn't say that. If I need materials fast, I can do them in here. Um, anyway, uh, what was I doing? I need to set up active vent and pipes and everything. This is all ready to go. I'm not going to... Well, I can't open that up because that door is, is open. It has to be closed. What more is there to do here? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of setup, a lot of output pipes have to end up entering my main line which is actually here um, yeah there's a lot to do did I leave the carbon dioxide on here? no, but I left the wall cooler on in here what's the temperature in there? this is one advantage of having a glass a glass base, you can see what's going on inside the base from outside um, okay there's so much I want to do So, so much I want to do. I, it's one of the things about this game, you kind of, it's kind of, uh, sometimes you're paralyzed by, by choice, by having too many choices. Um, it's like, I want to do that, and I want to do that, and I want to do that, and you end up just doing nothing as you sit around thinking about what do I want to work on next. Uh, you kind of just have to choose something and go with it, and just, just, just do it. Just go, I'm doing this now, and just, just do it. Otherwise, you end up wasting a lot of time just sitting there, umming and ahhing. Um, just choose something and get started on it. Um, and even if you're doing something wrong, like you start setting something up and it's wrong, it 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 doesn't matter. Like getting something wrong, kind of often sets a light bulb off in your head and and it allows you to see the way you should be doing it right. You, you, this is kind of like how it works in most building games. It's like if you if you need to get something done, you need to build something, for instance, you just start it. Even if it's wrong, just start it. And once you start it, you get a feel for what you should be doing. Like, you know, sometimes you start it and it's like, oh, yeah, this is working great. 
Uh, but most of the time you start something and you go, no, no, I don't want it like that. I want it like this. And you rip it all up and you try something new uh, and so on and so on. I'm trying to, why am I trying to find a peak, peak my way through there when I can just walk around? Um, I wanted to see if all the power was set up. It is. Fantastic. Even the advanced furnace right now is powered. It's good. I can close all these. That's great, that's great. Um, now, active vent and piping is required. So, connecting it to the main... Uh, I'm going to need active vents in both these things. I, I don't need it in here for now. Like, this is... I'm not... I, there's, not there's nothing, no reason to vent anything because it's in a total vacuum in my base. Um, later on, yeah, it will be a problem. I probably should just disconnect these doors and just leave them open permanently. Because uh, until I remove the the vacuum in my room, in my base, there's no reason for these doors to even be here. I, I just wanted to lay it all out so I know how it's going to work in the future. Um, but I do need an active vent in here. Now, this is kind of like the same thing I was talking about. When you start on something, just get started. Just, just start. Even if it's wrong, just start. and uh, And you'll figure it out. If you don't ever start, you just won't get anything done. You'll just sit there doing nothing. Um, this is going to connect to my main line. Now, I could put it down low and, like, connect it along this line. I don't I don't want to because i got a feeling I'm going to be connecting to this data point. So I might instead just put it high and run it through the roof like I've done the rest of my stuff, which means I'm going to need a lot more piping, um, which is crazy. Crazy. Um, so we chuck our active vent here. I may end up with stacks and stacks of excess pipes at the end of all this. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Let's get this in my hand. Okay, so this active vent actually works now. It's uh, not doing anything, obviously. I'm going to want this thing to suck in rather than push out because it's going to be sucking air out of this room and taking it via pipes all the way into my my atmospheric system, my filtration system. And it's basically going to go, not like that, but come on, like this. And then along the roof. And I think I'll just run it along the roof and then across here and just connect to this pipe here. Everything seems to be connecting to this little thing here. Um, of course, that means I need more pipes. Steel, silicon, I need iron. And of course, my iron's in there. And iron is always the last thing to pop out. Um, okay. No, no. It'll be last. And finally, iron. And all this has to go back into the electronics printer. Um, I really want nuclear batteries. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just thinking right now, should I make more large batteries for my tools? I don't think so. Speaking of which, I used a big chunk of my welder. I might, I might just swap that out now. And this is not really being used right now, so that I can swap that out with my suit battery. Easy peasy. Um, pipes. I mean, I, I could also look through look through um, all the new things. There's there's probably a ton of things. I'm like, what is an airlock gate? I've never used one before. I don't even know what it's for. Um, I could look through all the things and see what's what's new as such. Um, you know, when I upgraded to Mark II, um, new formulas opened up. So it's, it's good sometimes just to browse through the list and, and see what new options you have available to you that you didn't have before. What does a pipe organ do? Does it make sound when air goes through it or something? I, I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, I do need pipes. I'm just I'm just wondering what else has opened up. Okay, the, the Mark II liquid tank. Portable scrubber. Most of the stuff I already had. I'd like to make some sensors. Kit wall cooler. I guess the main thing I got... Um, let's see what the sensors cost. Gold and copper. I, I just... I want to build one for... I, I'm thinking I want to build one for both rooms. No, that's not... Well, I'm going to need a lot of sensors anyway. Okay, hey, let's do this again. All I came here with all was pipes, and I end up getting sidetracked doing other stuff. Copper. Gold. Close that. Um, let's build a sensor. I really want two of them, so I'm going to make two. One for this room, one for the other room. That's good. Um, I do want pipes. I want to kick out this golden copper. What do I... What's the other thing I need? Consoles. That's going to require iron. I'll get the pipes first. Pipe. I'm going to need a lot of pipes for this. So, uh, you just make pipes for a while. I'm going to stuff all these dudes back in here. I'll end up pulling him out again for no reason. Now, the next thing I want to get is consoles. Kit consoles. Oh, I'm, I'm going to need gas displays as well. I think I'm going to need more than that. Um, but what I'm actually thinking... Where's my silicon and steel? Uh, what I'm thinking is I'm going to make insulated for the rest. Uh, the reason is, uh, you know, I'm going to end up ripping these up and replacing them with non-insulated, but I'm, I know I'm going to need a lot of insulated pipes later on. And I, I know I'm probably going to have excess of normal pipes later on. So I'm just going to use insulated now because um, why not? I probably should have done the whole lot insulated. Not because it needs to be insulated, but because I know I'm going to need a lot of these. Though, to be honest, the vacuum room is going to be full of ordinary normal pipes with radiators on them. So, maybe I don't have enough pipes yet. Who knows? But I do know one thing. I don't have enough insulated pipes. Uh, a lot of my pipe stuff is going to go through the ceiling. Particularly the carbon dioxide. Um, the carbon dioxide to the greenhouse, which is going to connect on the same wall as the wall coolers. And the system going from the greenhouse to back to the atmospherics room is going to be all insulated pipes as well. At the moment they're connected like this. Zoop and zoop. Okay, so this is already insulated. Uh, instead this uh, this line is going to go zoop and connect like on this back wall somewhere. Um, but the pipe line back here again is going to be up through the ceiling it's going to be all insulated insulated and then back down into here and uh connect i'm not sure how i'm going to do it well once this is ripped up i'll actually have space up there so uh, this will probably go up the wall and it's going to be insulated all the way up the wall and then somehow i'm going to run it parallel to these but this pipe might go that way and then across and this one's going to go up the wall that way and then across i don't know i'll, I'll figure it out later I'm just wasting time planning stuff out rather than actually uh, doing stuff. Um, where is this pipe network I started? Okay. There we go. And... Whoa. Oh, because those... Yeah, the, these walls aren't on the underside. They're on the top side. So the pipes go underneath them. Yeah, now we want to turn a corner. Um, I need to save one to connect to here. So we're going to use the insulated ones from now on. Um, this should be fine. And we grab this thing here. Oh, I could be doing this outside now because the sun is set. 
and that should all be connected. So now when I turn this on, um, it's now basically trying to suck air out of my main base and put it into my main system. Of course there is no air in my main base so it's sucking nothing right now. Um, oh, I had a bunch of insulated pipes already. I might end up with a lot more pipes than I meant to be, meant to have. Kit wall, six. There's a door. There's someone dying of thirst. Again. My uh, water tank's probably getting low. I'm probably going to need to do a big combust. But now that I've got, you know, 6,000 moles of oxygen, I can, I can turn all of that into the water and have 6,000 moles of water in here. I, I, I kind of want to do a gigantic big water thing very, very soon. Not now. I'll, it's something I'll do during the day. I made these kit sensors, so um, I want to have a, a console right there, right next to the, the vent button. So the sensors I, I'll put on the other side. And you want a, a gas sensor like this probably, right in the middle. That'll do. It's not going to do anything. Um, swap that for that. And... So that, that sensor... Yeah, this is... Uh, we should rename it. Should we? No, it's going to be the only gas sensor on this circuit. I don't need to rename it. And you want to put a console... Where did my console go? I, didn't, I never made it. Uh, I needed the iron, gold, and copper out of here to make the console. Yeah, iron, gold, copper. Um, I can do that later. For now, let's do this. I want the, the kit door. I'm going to need one plastic sheet, one glass sheet. Yep. I'm going to need a crowbar. I'm going to need to shut this door. Okay, so what's about to happen is I'm going to open this up. A lot of air is going to rush in. Uh, I'm actually going to rip this up completely. Okay, I don't need the plastic and glass. I've, I've got it from this frame. Um, so I'm just going to rip this up completely. And what's going to take its place, of course, is a door. And the door is going to point this way. This. Come on. This way. And. Yeah. So now we go welding torch plastic. Then welding. And then crowbar glass. And there we go. We have our door. And we can open and close it. Now I should be able to close it and then evacuate this room. It basically is just working exactly like the other airlock. NA means it's a vacuum. Now I can open this up. We now have a back door to the, uh, to the house. To the house. A, a back door. This furnace, I'm afraid, might actually pull a ton of power and probably needs its own separate power network. Now I've got all this space here. This is enough space for another power thing. Uh, my only issue is where do I put the, the power controller? And this existing power controller is going to be blocking the data port. I don't even know if I'm going to use the data port, so, so maybe it's not really a problem. But um, at the moment, I've just connected the advanced furnace to this line, which is my atmospherics line. But I'm not sure if I want to do that. These atmospherics just run 24-7. I think that needs its own power. Okay, so one option is I could stick a large battery outside. So I could... I could stick a large battery here, for instance, and um, connect to the main things here. It's probably what I'm going to do, actually. Um... Alternatively, I've got this space here. It's currently being taken up by cables. Um, what I'm probably going to do is move all these cables forward. 
I wanted to put a couple of lockers here, but instead of putting a couple of lockers here, I can put a large battery here. And then all these cables, this airlock and the advanced furnace will all connect to the large battery and it'll be its own separate, separate network. So yeah, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, so th this whole line here connecting through there, that's all going to be ripped up. Um, I think both these doors, these both these airlocks are going to be connected to the large battery sitting out here, as well as the furnace. So this this furnace, this battery is going to charge uh, power the furnace and the two doors. Um, yeah, okay, I know what I'm doing now. Um, okay, so I've got one. I mean, I could I could set it up here. To be honest, um, I don't really want to. I don't know, I kind of want, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I'm just thinking, I kind of want to just continue this this line here. I don't know if I want this hollowed out. Maybe I do. Little mystery corridor right here. Um, I could fill in the block underneath that and this and actually remove this. I could remove all of them. <laughs> if, if I just filled them all in, airtighted everything um, on the side and underneath and filled all these in under here, I could just make a long corridor underneath my power there. Uh, so at what end? What am I going to use that corridor for? I have no idea. Um, yeah, I, I can't for the life of me think about what I could do. There's this daylight sense it doesn't need to be connected right here on this block. It could actually be all the way back, um, all the way back here on this block actually. So interesting. I, I could I could technically be using these two spaces as well. I can take them out. Although one of them's bordering the door. Uh, sorry, I'm just doing planning. I'm just thinking how, how am I going to improve this space? What am I what am I doing here? Uh, let's just get back to the actual project at hand. Okay, I've worked out how I'm going to deal with the power needs of the advanced furnace. I just have to do it now. Um, I know how I'm going to set this thing up. Okay, it's not my high, highest priority right now, though. Uh, my highest priority is to get the vacuum room going. Um, oh, hunger critical. Hunger critical, yeah. Um, this. Um, I want. I want to get those pipes out of my base. I mean, I'm starting new projects before I'm finishing old projects. Um, and it's not a good idea to run too many projects at once. I find anyway, because I end up half doing everything, and yeah, I, I prefer to just get stuff done. Um, so I'm gonna want wall coolers on here. I, I'm kind of I've planned it all out. I think I've explained it as I went. My my planning. Um, I'm, I I want this I want this gone. I want this gone, honestly. I want to get this large battery done first. Large battery and the power control are going to be both outside. Um, let's go battery. N not that that's a problem. I mean, oh, gold and copper. Where is all my gold and copper? It's in here. Get out of there. None of this is gold and copper. There we go. And, yeah. So, we get our large battery. We're going to just fix the cabling there. Uh, we're going to need our solder as well. Thank you. Large battery. Because we're also getting a power controller. Where's, where's my iron now? Iron. Um, also, a large battery cell to stick in the large battery. So, yeah, cell. There we go. No black hole. I've just figured out what I want to do. Don't come up right now. Um, Okay, so this this uh, basic uh, this episode, uh, I'm actually going to probably bring it to a close early. Um, just do a bit of 
swap some stuff out. Uh, I'm going to bring it to an early close. Um, the main thing is, I was vindicated. I almost blew up, and it was due to a bug. It was not due to my incompetence. I'm so happy about that. Oh, that's silver. Silver can stay in there. Um, and I've basically planned out what I'm doing, and I've got all the stuff ready to go. I can just sneak out here and get a little bit done. Close, open. I better not stuff this up. Um, oh. If I disconnect this, I can't... I won't be able to vacuum this. I can't do it. I need heavy cables. Um... Okay, so this is this is all all planned out now. Know what I'm doing. I'm gonna just get the power stuff sorted out, remove that cable, and then next episode, I'm going to be running pipes through here. I'm just gonna rip all that stuff up. Just gonna bite the bullet, rip it all up, and just start working it down these walls. Probably cross along the top there. Let's hope I don't bang my head on it, and uh, just run it along this wall all the way probably all the way up and around, and it's going to power the wall coolers, which are probably going to sit right in the corner here. Um, and I'm going to just put radiators all the way along it. And I can also run pipes downwards and have radiators going down. So I can like I can cool the living heck out of that, uh, that X to make the wall coolers as efficient as possible. I'm going to put two wall coolers in there. Um, it seems like one is actually fine. I just want the second one as an emergency backup, just in case temperatures just flare out of control for no reason. Um, or maybe I'll extend the greenhouse. I mean, who knows? Um, I don't really need to. It's producing so much oxygen. Um, it's fantastic. I'm just converting all my CO2 to oxygen. Um, yeah, I probably don't need a second wall cooler. Um, I, I also want to finish this damn thing. Um, where did I put... I was going to make a console. I haven't made the console yet. Let's make it now before I forget. Just get the damn console. Uh, this is the problem of working on too many things at once. Kit console. There we go. Let's just get that built. I actually want a lot of these things. Because I, I, I do want to display my... Um, is this going to show the pressure in the room? Yeah. My access card is going to go there. I need a gas thing. Um, I, I want to have a temperature and pressure displayed of all my tanks. I have no idea how I'm going to display it. Um, but yeah, I want to get all that stuff out of the way first, and then I'm going to decide how I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to have a whole series of walls there that are going to have monitors on them, because uh, on those walls, some of those walls are going to be my um, gas mixer set up. Um, what was I thinking? Um, I wanted... Oh, wait. The, the sensor, the... It's an electronic component. It's not a... It's not an atmospheric component, it's electronic. What am I thinking? Um, so, so I basically want a, a gas display. So I'll put display down. Yeah, gas display. There we go. That's what I want. I've got a piece of glass. I probably should get myself another piece of glass. Um, let's just get this little thing done. Rather than leaving something half done, let's just do it. Ah. There we go. Now, I should be able to turn this on. It should say that. It should be a confused mess. Um, but when I put the data disk in, I should be able to choose. I want mode pressure. Yep. I want gas sensor, there's only one on the thing, and I should be able to pull this out. I, I can't pull it out while I'm holding a cable though. Pull this out, and it says pressure zero. So let's actually test the functionality of this thing. I'm going to close this door. 
I'm going to open this up. Bang. Pressure. Okay, now we're going to shut this. It says 54.7. I don't know why the pressure is going down. Anyway, I'm not going to suck it all out. Choop, 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 choop. Put some super hot 650 degree gas. Now it says zero pressure. And there's zero pressure. I just want to see how effective this is. How good is it compared to my tablet? Do they both hit zero simultaneously? When that says zero, yep, they're identical. They're simultaneous. Okay, I can trust it. That, that was the whole thing. I want to know, can I trust it? When that says zero, can I just go, oh yeah, time to open the door. And can I actually trust that number? And it, adds, it is yes. This hit NA at the same time that hit zero was simultaneous. So I can trust it. Fantastic. And I don't have to pull my tablet out every single time I want to do this. Um, I'll probably do the same on the other door as well, but uh, I'm about to redo all the power on that door. Since I am doing the same thing on the other door, I should um, build the gas display. I'm actually going to need a lot of these things as well. Um, and also the monitor. The console. Get consoles. Did I put down a console or a console monitor? Um, it was supposed to be a console monitor. What did I put down? I put down a console. I guess it's the same thing. It doesn't matter if that's a console. It doesn't make any difference. Um, okay. So I've got the gas display, I've got the kit consoles, I've got some glass to do it, I've got a gas sensor. I can set up the exact same setup on the other door. Um, so this is my vent that I'll be hitting on when I want to suck air out of the room. So I want the console right there where I can see it. And yeah, we'll just use normal consoles. They, they seem to do the same job as a console monitor. There we go, we glass that. We stick the gas display probably on the other side right here. We wire them both up. We're going to run out of cables. Come on. Get this down. Thank you. And we'll do this and that. And fantastic. These actually work now pressure doesn't exist, but that's because it's not connected to anything. I'll stick the data card in. I want mode pressure. I don't want to know the pressure of the H2 combustor. I want to know the pressure of this gas sensor. Pull this out. Um, once again, we can't pull it out with cables in our hand. It says zero pressure. Now, we'll test it. We'll put it to the test. We'll shut the door. We'll open this up tells us pressure. Let's see how identical these are. 27.3, they're identical. Now, um, let's get this out of the way so I can see it clearly. Let's go. They're racing, they're racing, they're racing. Identical. Fantastic. I don't need my tablet anymore for these uh, for these tasks. I don't have to bring them out. That's, uh, that's good to know. The black hole is almost set. I'm going to put my kit battery large in hand and uh, I need more cables I just realized I need heavy cables I can't do anything without heavy cables so we're just gonna we're just gonna make sure these doors are always double shut uh, in case I go out one and come in the other entrance so that's one thing I gotta be careful of that's one of the things that an automatic airlock will make sure I never ever have that problem heavy cables I have two I need the heavy cables because um, I need to, to connect the large battery to the rest of the power grid. I need large battery. Uh, I need, yeah, heavy cables. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to put the heavy cables in my hand. Hopefully, I remember to make heavy cables. Um, once I get that battery done, I rip up all that uh, pipe, that cable I don't need. I can then rip up all this stuff. Oh, God. Okay, that's my next episode. This episode is uh, 
planning episode, I guess. Planning things out. Um, I really want to turn that wall... Well, no, I'm going to be turning that wall cooler off. I need that room cooler. Oh, well. Um, okay, I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, bye.